Hello, welcome to the video walkthrough of the Lightning Public Server. If you aren't familiar with what Lightning is, first head over to lightningviz.org for more info. Today I want to talk about public.lightningviz.org, a Lightning server that's free and available for anybody to use. Hosting for this server is provided by the Freeman Lab at HHMI Genelia. Now if you've used Lightning before, this screen should look familiar. There are two things to know that differentiate using the public server from any other Lightning server. The first, because this is a shared public server, there is no management of custom visualization types. And the second, to protect your privacy, we've removed all ways to browse visualizations. Um, this means that when you create a visualization, you get a long, unique identifier for the URL of that visualization that you can send to your friends or your colleagues to share, but there's no way to browse other people's data. Now, let's get started making some plots. By pressing that button, I just created a session. In Lightning, all plots belong to a session. By posting data here, you can create a feed of data visualizations. Um, and there's basically three ways to post data here. The first is through this web interface, which I'll show you in a second. The second is directly through a REST API. And the third is using an API client, which under the hood also uses the REST API. So if I click Create Visualization, I can enter JSON here and create a line chart. If I wanted to create something else, I could also select it from the menu. The visualization shows up in the feed. There's also an associated actions button. So I can do things like take a screenshot, get a link to put in an iframe, or also get this public permalink. This link is meant to be shared with others so that they can look at your visualization uh, without having access to the underlying session or any of the data underneath. Uh, you should feel free to post this publicly through email or, or social media or whatever. Um, and I'll show you how uh, you can do this same kind of workflow in a more automated way uh, using the API client now. So here I have uh, IPython running, actually. Let's start in just regular IPython, not the notebook. So the first thing that I need to do is import uh, the Lightning client. And now I just have to instantiate it and uh, to tell it to use the Lightning server, what I have to do is pass this parameter called host and just put the URL of the uh, public server in there. Um, and now I'll show you what it looks like to plot some data. So I'll use NumPy to just get some random data going. And I'll create a uh, line vis visualization. Uh, I'll do 100 random data points here. Now, the cool thing is that I can go ahead and open this right in my browser. Um, and I can also get access to that, just the string of that public link, if I wanted. Um, Lightning also supports uh, adding description text to these plots. So if you wanted to... Um, share this with someone and have a little bit more info, you could uh, pass a description along. Um, and this is a uh, markdown. So you can put whatever you want in here. And it'll be parsed by the markdown engine. Um, you can do code like that. Uh, I think that's good. Now if I uh, plot something else, I'll do a scatter plot this time. Uh, I can also pass it that description. I can do viz.open again. And now it should render with the markdown right there. So you've got your code highlighting, uh, your headers all work. Anything you want, you can uh, put on this page and then share it out. 
Um, and not only does this work uh, just like in the normal Python, but you can do it in notebooks as well. So if you want to use IPython or the Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can do that too and render these things right in line. So I have this notebook called Public um, that well, I'll show you does more or less the same thing we just went through. Um, so I import the libraries and now I instantiate the client with the host set to the public server. And the only thing different here is that I pass uh, true to this IPython parameter. And that just tells Lightning that it's in a notebook environment and it should start rendering things in line. So I can do a line plot again. It renders right there. Um, and again, if I want to get access to these permalinks, I can do the same thing. Um, I can do like a 3D scatter plot. So now I have to do X, Y, and Z. Um, now I can render it out. So that just rendered using 3JS there. Um, and again, if I wanted to send this to someone, I could just get this uh, public link you know, and post this and share it. So that's all on the uh, public server for now. Um, join me in my next video. I'm going to be talking about making uh, your own customizations here and how to do that and how to share them with other people too. Thank you.